Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to get perfect O2 sensor bung welds on your next stainless steel exhaust project. All right, so being that we're working in a fixture here, this, we have a locator that's actually gonna locate where this bung goes, so that's how we're gonna mark it. We have a little tool, so it's one inch, one inch tool, so it locates. Give yourself a little mark. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is locate some 304 stainless steel, some quality bungs that'll weld decent. Now I'll put a link to these down below. So we're using a one inch O2 bung and we're going to use a one inch hole saw. This will allow the hole to be just big enough that if you need to get a little bit of an angle, right, it'll allow you to do so. Like in a fixture, sometimes you'll need to have a little bit of an angle to work with to get it in the right position. Um, one thing to note, if you're making a custom exhaust, you want to try and put the bung even or up in the tube. You really don't want it to be down, pointing at the ground. All right, now switch out your old hole saw. This one's pretty beat up. Last hole I did, it, it welded out pretty good, made it a lot harder to weld, so we're gonna swap it out for a new one. Drill a hole. Almost got the camera there. Now we'll deburr it. All right, your tungsten nice and sharp. And then on O2 bungs, I go to an eighth inch filler. I would tack it in at least three, maybe four places. All right, now we're gonna get it all set up to back purge. Since we manufacture this product, we have some, some custom purge plates that are made out of metal. That'll work for doing it over and over again. On this side, we got a hole there. It got a couple small holes in it. Let all the argon push through. The last thing you're gonna need is a way to actually plug the bungs. Just got a few little caps. All right, so we're all set up. <clears throat> so one thing about welding a bung, I always like to go from the thin wall up to the bung. I think it adds a lot more consistency to the weld. 
So try and keep the majority of your heat down there and puddle up to the bottom. Back purge on. All right, take a look at the final result. Really happy with the way that came out. I like using the eighth inch filler because it makes it look a lot more full. You go with the 035 or 045, you're gonna have a lot more of an undercut look. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment section below and like and subscribe for more. I also put a couple links down below for the O2 bungs, a couple other parts that we use to make this. Uh, anything purchased there does help support this channel, so we appreciate it very much. Thank you.